James Webb Space Telescope has had its first look at a hotly anticipated set of targets. The atmospheres of some of the seven Earth-sized planets orbiting TRAPPIST-1, 12 parsecs, 39 light-years, from Earth. As all seven of these planets lie in or near their star's habitable zone, where liquid water may exist, astronomers consider them the best-known laboratory for studying what might make planets beyond the solar system habitable. In 2017, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system was mapped out, providing astronomers with multiple opportunities to study the formation and evolution of Earth-sized worlds orbiting a single star. The star is relatively faint and cool, and the seven planets are located close to the star, which is almost as close as Mercury is to the Sun. Since the beginning of JWST science operations in June, the observatory has undergone observations of all the planets in its first year. The Space Telescope Science Institute, the JWST Operations Center, held a symposium this week to present a collection of observations already made, but none had been made public before. The TRAPPIST-1 planets are designated B2H, with B being the closest and H being the farthest. During the presentation, Beneke presented the first JWST study of TRAPPIST-1G. So far, the telescope has been able to determine that the planet most likely does not have a hydrogen. Rich atmosphere, something the Hubble Space Telescope had already confirmed several years ago. As a result of its low density, such an atmosphere would be relatively easy to detect due to its physical size, owing to its low density. If that's the case, it could mean that the planet has a denser atmosphere that is composed of heavier molecules such as carbon dioxide. Or it could mean that the planet has no atmosphere at all. It is much more difficult to analyze TRAPPIST-1 data compared to those gathered from larger exoplanets. Due to the smaller sizes of TRAPPIST-1's planets, it is more difficult to extract signals from their atmospheres because their atmospheres are much smaller. Signals induced by magnetic disturbances in the star can also cause interpretations of the data to be thrown off by these disturbances. In a poster presentation at the conference, Olivia Lim, a professor of astronomy at the University of Montreal, she and her team have been unable to detect any signs that could provide an indication of the composition of the planet's atmosphere. But preliminary studies suggest that, like planet Oneg, it probably doesn't have a puffy, hydrogen-rich atmosphere. In spite of this, the extraordinary planetary system will continue to produce more results in the near future. Thanks for watching.